Hi learners, I'm Teacher Jen. Welcome to another day of fun learning. Our lesson for today is summarizing various text types based on elements. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to Summarize information for various text types. Summarize narrative text based on elements. Infer the theme of literary text. What am I good at? Before we proceed to our lesson, let us find and color the following words in the puzzle. Get your module to answer this puzzle. And you can pause this video while answering. After 5 minutes, please play it again and then we are going to check your answer. Okay, time's up. Let us answer. First word is plot. Setting Team Characters Text Fiction And the last number is Story I hope you got all the correct answer. Now, let's proceed to our lesson. What's the meaning? What is summarizing? A summary is a short retelling of a story or text that includes only the most important information. Summaries include the main idea of the text and omit minor details. Summaries are considerably shorter than the original text. What are the steps in summarizing? Read and understand the text carefully. Think about the purpose of the text. Ask what the author's purpose is in writing the text or the story. Select the relevant information. Find the main ideas. What is important? Change the structure of the text. Rewrite the main ideas in complete sentences. And of course, check your work. Summarizing allows you to prove that you exactly understood the information in the text or in the story. There are many different types of texts depending on their purpose, structure, and language features. The phrase text types is a way of classifying and defining different types of language interaction both spoken and written. Here are different text types serves different purposes. So the first column is various text types and the second column is purposes of the different text types narrative is to tell a story descriptive to describe instructional to provide instructional argumentative is to convince expository to explain procedure tells how to do something Information report, used to present information. Recount, tells what happened. Explanation, makes clear how or why things work. Discussion, to explore more than one side of an issue. What is a narrative text? Narrative text includes any type of writing that relates a series of events and includes both fiction these are novels short stories 
poems. In non-fiction, we have memoirs, biographies, news stories. Both forms tell stories that use imaginative language and express emotion, often through the use of imagery, metaphors, and symbols. Always remember, narrative text structure uses a story structure that includes story elements. A story is a composition of prose or poetry that is transformed into a performance on stage. The story progresses through interactions between its characters and ends with a message for the audience. What are the different elements of a story and how they are related to each other? There are six elements of the story. The first one is theme. We have also plot, character. We have also setting, mood, and conflict. What is a theme? The theme of a story refers to its belief or central idea. The theme is the philosophy that forms the base of the story or a moral or lesson that the characters learn. It is the message that the story gives to the readers. The author's message or central concept about life or human nature conveyed through the story. The theme of a narrative or a story can be revealed through its characters, settings, and other elements like plot. Theme is simply the author's message, the belief or central idea presented in the story. It refers to the lesson or moral of the story. The usual questions are, what is the message of the story? What is the story all about? And what lesson did the main character learn? Examples of themes are importance of family, the benefits of hard work, honesty, and we have also friendship. The second element of a story is the plot. Plot is the order or sequence of events occurring in a story or play make its plot. Essentially, the plot is the story that the play narrates. Generally, a story begins with exposing the past or background of the main and other characters and the point of conflict then proceeds to giving the central theme or climax. Then come the consequences of the climax, and the play ends with a conclusion. Here is a plot diagram. We have exposition. Uh, this is the beginning of the story where characters and setting are introduced. And then rising action. This is where the main character faces a series of conflicts and then we have climax the most exciting part of the story when we learn the outcome and then falling action these are the events leading to the end of the story and the last one is resolution this is now the end of the story A uh, plot simply consists of the beginning, the middle, and the ending. Beginning, it gives the problem faced by the main character. And middle, it presents the action made by the character to solve the problem. And the ending, it gives the solution to the problem. Uh, take note that plot is the series of events and the actions of the characters 
it made up of the problem important events and the resolution okay i have here example of plot the story of cinderella okay beginning is when the father dies cinderella's wicked stepmother turns her into a virtual servant in her own house when cinderella's cruel stepmother prevents her from attending the royal ball she gets some unexpected help from the lovable mice Gus and Jack, and from her fairy godmother. And this is the middle in the story. The fairy said that her magic would end at midnight. At the ball, the prince danced with Cinderella all night long. When the clock struck at 12 o'clock, Cinderella hurried away and lost one of her glass slippers. The prince sent out his men to find the girl who fit the glass slipper. That is the middle of the story of Cinderella. And this is the end. In the morning, the page from the palace arrived with the glass slippers. The stepsisters tried it on, but their feet were too fat. When Cinderella tried the glass slipper on, it fit perfectly. Cinderella and the prince were soon married, and they live happily ever after. So that is the end of the uh, story of Cinderella. And the third element of the story is the characters. The characters that form a part of the story are interweaved with the plot of the drama. Its character in a story or play has a personality of its own and a set of principles and beliefs. Persons or animals in the story have the responsibility of bringing the characters to life. The main character in the story or play who the audience or readers identifies with is the protagonist. He or she represents the theme of the story or play. The character that the protagonist conflicts with is the antagonist or the villain. Characters are simply the persons or animals featured in the story. The usual question is, who are the characters in the story? Uh, examples, we have... Princess Aurora and Prince Philip in the story Sleeping Beauty. And we have Elsa, Anna, Olaf, Christoph in the story Frozen. The fourth element of its story is the setting. Setting is the time and place where a story is set is one of its important parts. The era or time in which the incidents in the story or play take place influence the characters in their appearance and personalities. The time setting may affect the central theme of the play, the issues raised, if any, the conflict, and the interactions between the characters. Setting is simply when and where the story happened. The usual questions for this is where and when the story happens or takes place. Uh, we have examples. One morning in the forest and we have also one day at the beach. Our fifth element of the story is mood. This is the general feeling created through work choice and pacing. Uh, the usual questions is, what do you feel upon reading this story? And examples, we have excited, we have also frustrated, sympathetic, and amused. The six elements of this story is conflict. Uh, conflict is the central problem to be solved. 
the struggle between the characters in the story. What are the usual questions for this? We have, what is the problem that happens in the story? And what problem is the main character facing? Example in the story of Snow White. When the queen got jealous of Princess Snow White's beauty, she wanted to kill her, so she will be the fairest of them all in the kingdom. Again, these are six elements of the story. We have setting, characters, plot, mood, theme, and conflict. Okay, it's activity time. Bring out your modules and start answering. Under what's more to do, directions, read and summarize the story entitled Inside the Canteen based on the elements of various texts. Below, write here your summary. You, you're going to write the character, the setting, the conflict, the plot, and the theme. And then letter B, write the elements of the story in its number. Performance Task 1. What can I show? You are going to get your favorite story. Read and accomplish the diamond organizer by summarizing or giving the elements of your favorite story. Infer the theme and give the moral or lesson of the story. And another one, how's my target now? This is the directions. Read and summarize the story or text below based on their elements and infer the theme of the story. Letter B, directions. Below are different text types and the purpose of those texts. Decide what the purpose of its text type is and write your answer in the space provided. You're going to choose your answer in column B, we have A, discussion, B, narrative, C, recount, D, procedure, and letter E is description. You are going to write only the letter of the correct answer on the blank before the number. That's all for now, learners. I hope you learned something new today. Class dismissed. Thank you. See you next time.